My first memories are with some lady seen here. I'm not sure what happened to her. She just gave me away like I wasn't important anymore. I believe I was born in Detroit for one reason or another. As you can see from this portrait, I was a black cat. Three quarters of the cat population in Detroit are black and mostly unemployed. This is a picture of my old house. And for one reason or another, the bank foreclosed. And then somebody set it on fire. Damn shame, too. Happened one night before my first Halloween party. After that, I spent a lot of time on the streets, hiding in newspapers written in Russian for some reason. The streets of Detroit are tough, and you've got to be on your toes night and day. Or you get got. I remember some of the sights from that first year. It was not for kittens, let me tell you. I was a good cat, though. One time I saved a bunch of people from a burning building. But, just like always, it was overshadowed in the newspaper headlines by some Princess Leia or something. One day I walked into a backyard and encountered one of the stupidest looking cats I'd ever seen. It was absolutely retarded. So, senseless as it may seem, I committed murder. These fellas saw me on my way out and alerted the local authorities. They were apparently just about to take it to a pawn shop. So, I went to prison. That's not exactly a nice place to be. You could forget about all the good kinds of food, let me tell you. The warden was a real mean fella. I had a guy working for him who you did not want to mess with. We do normal stuff, like exercise, eat, but you gotta stay in your group. You got the white cats, the Latino group. You get a few friends mixing here and there. But don't be eye on the wrong groups. Sometimes a cat brawl may ensue. And no matter how tough you think you are, you get thrown in the hole after. Even when you come out, you still got a shock collar on you. This particular cat here was named Mr. Tibbs. Strange name a cool cat nonetheless. He helped me out, and here's how it went down. Hey. This fella here came to me Anybody in the shower room one time. Yet? Anybody get to you yet? Hey, we all need friends in here. I could be a friend to you. Now these fellas like to partake in strange and unusual activities. Mr. Tibbs came in and dealt with things. They call me Mr. Tibbs. And if you want to go on calling anyone anything, you'll get on back to your milk bowl right now. Yep, I remember when I got into Shawshank Prison. I was just a young, good-for-nothing gambler. Although it was a robbery that put the final nail in the coffin for me. I think I got what I deserved. Not a day goes by when I don't think about it. Then along came Rastus. Kind of a strange name. But he and I got along right away. Almost as if it were a movie starring Morgan Freeman and Sidney Poitier. Yep, I'd become that kind of cat. There must be one of us in every prison in America. I'm the cat that can get it for you. Chew toys, laser pointer, remote control mouse, cigarettes, if that's your thing. Damn near anything within reason. Yep, I'm a regular Sears and Roebuck. When we return, we learn about how Rastus graduates from college and eventually becomes part of Meow Mix's group, C-12. And Brooks is released, but has an unfortunate demise with a new owner. We also find some shocking surprises involving Mr. Tibbs when he goes for drug testing after the chess tournament. When we return on Behind the Fur.